Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this session, we will discuss on the algorithm design. So in our real life scenarios, we always use the term procedures to refer to a step-by-step -step method to solve a specific problem. Okay. For example, this is a step-by-step -step procedure to withdraw some money from an automatic teller machine or ATM. So um, these are the steps. The first step is you insert the bank card, you enter the PIN number, you enter the withdrawal amount, you remove cash and remove your bank card. Okay. However, if someone is very very new to this operation, to this procedure, when you give him or her these steps, um, they might not be able to complete the uh, withdrawal or uh, um, transaction. Okay, because they might need to have a very very detailed procedure okay for example insert the bank card where do you want to insert uh where is the location for you to insert the card okay so you have to really really give a detailed instruction to that person so that he or she can uh execute uh the instruction uh without any question okay without any hesitation okay um just like you know we normally um get what we call instruction from someone right uh go and get this go and get that okay this and that must be um defined okay must be made in advance it must be made known in advance okay but especially when we give instruction to uh children okay we have to be very specific go and get the ball where okay um in the box okay which box blue box white box okay uh, you have to be very very precise okay um then only that person or the child okay uh knows what to uh, do okay so the keyword here is specific okay be specific okay and then you have to uh what we call uh, elaborate the step okay uh, step by steps okay so next uh, a detailed procedure uh, you can have it uh, have it in written form okay um, in this uh, structure okay this is an alternative okay if you want to uh, share okay the how to withdraw some money from an ATM machine to someone okay first you insert the bank card where okay you insert the bank card into the ATM machine slot okay perhaps you want to get it uh, 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 in a detail uh, format you can see that we slot up down left right okay and wait until you see a welcome message and then what to do then you select the language so you see um, inserting a bank card requires uh, a few more steps so those steps must be must be what we call included okay um, in a procedure okay now nowadays people talk about SOP SOP that is standard operating procedure again so it has to be detailed okay a detailed procedure will do much better Okay, for you to um, ask someone to execute the task for you okay so uh, enter the pin number for example how how do you enter the pin number okay so perhaps you can um, detail it to the extent that you ask the person to press the keypad to enter the pin number okay so if you um, if you write uh, to the person okay in this format um, most probably okay he or she can withdraw the money successfully okay okay this is just um, an infographic okay next one same thing here okay um, instructing a person to drive a car you cannot simply ask the person to just get into the car, start the engine, and then drive off. No, that will not do. Okay, you have to 
uh, give a specific instruction okay specific a very detailed procedure so the three procedures uh, would be uh, you know uh, in a detailed format uh, first you get in the driver's seat okay close the car door put on the seat back okay and then check uh, the gear stick whether it is in N or P mode so everything must be uh, must be in an orderly fashion okay uh, must be made uh, step by step okay in the order it executes and then it has to be made in a detailed format okay in a detailed structure okay now start the engine how do you want to start okay insert the key into the ignition slot Okay, twist the key. Okay, that is how you give instruction. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, be, um, be be uh, be what we call uh, be very detailed. Okay, be very very detailed when you give instruction. Okay, so uh, lastly, okay, uh, lift your foot from the brake press the accelerator the lead to start moving so this can also be met uh, in a, a detail uh, format perhaps you have another step there okay so next so likewise when you write a program you have to have a very detailed instruction to give to the computer so that detailed instruction we call it an algorithm Okay, an algorithm is a step-by-step -step instruction for solving a problem. Okay, now the algorithm must include all the operations involved. Okay, when solving the given problem, it has to describe uh, the ways. Okay, to obtain the data. Okay, the input, the process, and also the output. Okay, must be made in um, an orderly fashion. It has to be. Uh, in order steps okay now an algorithm does not depend on a particular programming language when you have an algorithm you can have the uh, algorithm written okay uh, you can have the program based on the algorithm written in any programming language be it C++ Java okay you can have uh, uh, what we call a uh, program written in whatever language that you wish for okay based on that same algorithm okay so that is why the algorithm must be very very specific okay so it can be conveniently translated into any computer programming language okay now there are two types how you can represent the algorithm so you can have the algorithm um, in a visual form okay either textually or graphically uh, uh, produce okay um, you can have it written using the what we call pseudocode okay and also you can have it drawn okay using what we call a flowchart okay so a pseudocode is a textual instruction that uses english like statements very very simple just write the instruction just like you instruct um, your uh, click okay to do something for you that is what we call when we use English like statements okay um, but in a flow for flowchart we use a graphical instruction okay we use symbols okay um, that denotes the input process and output okay and 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 we have also other uh, notation as okay for the um, for the symbols Okay, so you might ask what are the advantages and disadvantages of uh, both, okay, of a uh, flowchart and also the pseudocode. Now, for pseudocode, it requires uh, less time for you to write and it is easily uh, modified, okay. You can modify the program logic easily, okay, um, and the direct conversion to a programming language is easier because the normally the written instruction resemble the mathematical notation okay it is um okay, normally programmers they uh, they understand better okay uh, when the instructions 
uh, written in the pseudocode okay can be represented uh, directly into uh, the instruction ataupun coding okay or the coding now what about the flowchart flowchart uh, they they are easily they can be um, a quite what we call difficult to produce okay because uh, for charts might require a special tool okay you have to draw so you have to have a drawing tool to produce a flowchart but people find it very very easy to understand the program logic okay when you use for chart because it shows the flows of the program okay so it can guide a uh, programmers to proceed from the beginning to the um, ending point okay so you can make sure that you don't uh, skip steps okay and then um okay next okay the element of an algorithm an algorithm must have a name okay it has to have a name it has to have the uh section that uh that 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 indicates the begin the beginning of the uh, instruction and the ending of the instruction okay next so this is uh, the example of uh, next one okay these are the uh, symbols okay used in a flowchart okay if you see the symbol it means if you see this one the symbol it means okay given here an example okay the task is to convert from miles to kilometer so pseudocode versus flowchart for pseudocode this is the example okay you have the name there the name is the name is uh here is the name okay and then normally we write the author's name so next okay commonly most program uh in computing consists of three actions okay the program must have uh okay input data and then uh, process data and also the output okay so normally when you get data the user has to give the data and then you do something with the data okay uh, then um, you the the program will display information to the user okay that is the produce the result so uh, just for a revision okay as a revision okay now um, you are aware that a computer can receive information and store data into the memory so here you can translate the action into input action okay a computer can display information you can translate it into output action computer can perform automatic operation this is where you can use the uh, a process okay to do some computation okay a computer can assign a value this is the assignment okay assignment operation now for the input uh, operation normally we use these keywords like input input data get data read data accept data what are the data perhaps for example you use num so input num input num get num read num asset num meaning we are going to get the value okay from the user and store into a computer location okay for output operation normally we use the keyword output write display print okay uh, for compute okay uh, we have uh, these keywords if you want to add for example just straight away use add add subtract multiply divide okay this is very very uh, self descriptive okay assign for assign operation you normally uh, use the keyword set or initialize or assigned okay so next one okay the help of a screen design okay in order to be able to enter data and view the results on the computer screen every program needs a user interface of course you have to um, design a user interface so that your user can 
uh, comfortably input data and then uh, be able to read the uh, result or the information okay given or produced by the program okay so for this reason uh, screen design is needed during the problem definition phase so earlier you in our problem definition uh, slide we have uh, discussed on the screen design so a screen design uh, consists of the input and output operation so here you have the input you have the input okay this one is input and you have the output okay so uh, here is referring to the location so next okay so based on the previous uh, example okay um, conversion from mile to kilometer so you have to uh, you have to determine the input and output so if you do it correctly then it will uh, be able to translate into the following pseudocode okay if you want to input if you if you want to input okay ask the user to input enter a value in mile so you are asking a user to input so your pseudocode would be okay to display why so next so this is an um, example okay using the input output statement analysis you have to uh, really analyze uh, the input and output statement okay bismillahirrahmanirrahim so today let us discuss on the question that i have assigned to you previously okay the question asks you to write a c++ program that accepts the following underlying data and displays okay accepts and displays yeah, uh, the information in the following format a sample data is okay so i have my video on this one on the youtube you might uh, want to watch it later okay so i just pass this one next okay so from there what you have to do is to specify the data required uh, in that uh, problem so these are the data that um, will be used okay in that program so uh, remember if you are not sure what data type to be used then always go for the sample values then only you uh, know okay what types of data are required okay so these are the uh, specification for the data that um, that are needed okay according to this format okay according to the screen design that you have produced earlier okay so that is why it's very very important for you to uh, come up with a design first okay all right that's it thanks for watching